The overall goal of GEM is to integrate the science of genomics and microbiomics to advance those disciplines and also to educate our community in the importance of these sciences because they are literally going to change how medicine is practiced in the next decade. We think that our approach is a reasonable one at this time because it does combine a more complete analysis of diseases. It's not just the genetic, it's not just the epidemiologic, it's also the microbiologic. The information that's contained in your DNA can be used to predict which diseases you might have and perhaps prevent you from getting a disease. There's a lot of talk about what we call personalized or precision medicine where we can address treatments to people specifically what they'll respond to well based on their genetic makeup. Currently we have the capacity as scientists to sequence genomes and to sequence a lot of genomes fairly quickly, fairly inexpensively. And the general public deserves to know how this work that we're doing affects them, how it's relevant to them. We want the genome not to be scary to people. We want it to be something they've heard of, something they're familiar with, and so something they can ask questions about. So we have ties with people in the art department. We want to create art on genomic themes, and that could be then exhibited in the public. Um, theater productions, dance productions. We want to do a lot of different things to get people thinking and talking about the genome. We are trying to form a true community that embraces all of the disciplines represented by the university. This interdisciplinary approach is absolutely essential. Uh, none of us alone can accomplish the full understanding of these diseases, which is going to be necessary to make a major effort to change them. Our vision for GEM is that we will use state-of-the-art science to improve the health of our community, to use creative ways to teach the community about these important sciences, and then perhaps attract people into this area and help train the next generation of scientists.